All right, so this is Brass number one uh, from Image Comics. Do you remember this, yeah. John? Did you did you yeah, get yeah, this I, comic? Yeah, I bought, yeah, I bought them. Yeah, I, I don't what remember reading them. I, I just remember it looked cool. Boy, does it look cool! I saw this mm -hmm. and I was like, first of all, I love this cool pose here. Mm -hmm. I really like it. I like all the big gigantic guns. Uh, look at the cool manga tech. Mm -hmm. Really inspirational. Whenever I, whenever I see a character like that, though, I cringe for a second thinking about drawing them more than once. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I mean, you know, Cyberfrog isn't like this, but he is pretty ornate, and it, it does take time to draw Cyberfrog a lot. He takes more time than it, it took to draw Green Lantern. Yeah, but that. those shoulder pads, like, whatever the fuck he's got going on there, it's like, what does that look like at different angles? Like, you know, like, are you just making it up every time he turns around? Like, I don't, I don't that stuff drives me crazy. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I mean, it would help to have a toy. Yeah. Like, you know, McFarlane should have been... McFarlane did not make a toy of brass, but he should have because it would have been easier for uh, Richard Bennett, who was the artist of this, uh, to uh, to do something. Now, my opinion is, as an artist, what I think happened was Richard Bennett drew this and then was like, fuck, man, I gotta... You know, I'm gonna write something. I gotta make a comic book or some shit. Mm. Uh, and this is what he did. Uh, and this whole entire book, and I bought this book again from uh, eBay because I remember having an oversized version of it that was in black and white that I was really impressed with. Mm. You know, I had it on my desk all the time when I was doing Cyberfrog in the 90s. Yeah. So it was really great. What's on that interior cover there? What is that? Uh, because you demanded it, uh, the first all image crossover, uh, Shattered Image. Mm. Is that when they kicked Rob out? <laughs> is it? I don't know. Uh, well, Young no. right there. Yeah, there's Young No, that was just being joking about shattered image, like the mm -hmm. image comic shattering. It just, you know. You got and Grifter. They, well, they didn't separate. You got Savage. Shane, stop telling people you're joking. We know you're joking. We're, we're playing mm -hmm. straight men along to your jokes. It's okay. You don't have to be like, I was just kidding, man. We know, Shane. Listen, we've been, we have a rhythm together, the three of us. We know you. Shane, we know you wouldn't intentionally hurt anyone. Are so periods going to get in sync? Uh, maybe. Hmm. If you're lucky. You don't want to do that, the period sync up. Shane, we're talking yeah. about comic books here. Keep all the <laughs> feminine energy out of here. Uh, all right. Now, listen, you draw this and you're like, uh, oh, this is great. I better do a comic book about it. What mm -hmm. I didn't expect was that the entire thing was going to be anti-Semitic. I didn't know it was going to be an anti-Jewish screen. Wow. I had no idea. But it is. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Well, Hi, my name, my name is Herschel Goldstein. Oh, See what I'm saying? wow. The main character is a naked Jew by the name of Herschel Goldstein. And I lost my glasses and my shoes fell off and I can't see so good. <laughs> On top of the Empire State Building. Uh, all right, so Herschel Goldstein. But I don't think about it very much anymore. See, this is the thing about writing. What do you mean, dude? Hi, my name is Herschel Goldstein, but I don't think about that much anymore. How much do you think about your name, John? I, well, you thought about it enough to say it right up front. Yeah. Uh, apparently, no, I don't sit used... there and think about my name. <laughs> I'm like uh, <laughs> pondering my name. Hi, my name is John Malin, but I don't think yeah. about that much anymore. You know why? Yeah. Because like I'm in my 40s and I'm I'm no longer a toddler who's learning right. how to speak. Family? What's John. that? Right. Uh, here's the thing about this. Uh, this is uh, ineffective shadowing. I will say I love this cityscape a lot. I think it's terrific. I like all of this. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with this, John? What bothers you about this? Oh, okay. okay. Now, me personally, I mean, it would be more like a flow thing. I would, I would have it turned the other way because he's facing like the starting point. So yeah. I want to lead the eye down. Um, his right leg, I don't know, there's something funky with that. Like uh, His arm and really his leg. Really long, really long. Yeah. yeah. I don't, you know, my thing is that, like, you know what? Go ahead and just make it black. When in Can doubt, I? black it out? Yeah, like, the, when, you, when you're like, no, dude, I can't. I, like, mm -hmm. he sat there and he drew all of the musculature. And then he's like, now i got to put shadow in. I don't want to let people... I want people to say that. This is what the thought Show process... Show the anatomy. 
Yeah, black it in real quick. Show them, show them how much better it, it would look. Okay. Be so, yeah, what is that white this. wedge on his back? I don't understand. Lights. Exactly. So, seriously, uh, this this is already, you can see, it is so much better mm -hmm. uh, this way. Yeah, I got to say, Ethan, I really uh, really appreciate, appreciate the way you uh, handle your blacks. Mm. Yeah, just whip them out real quick. Uh, just generally improve the uh, the atmosphere. Yeah. Uh, this is look at that, fifty thousand mm -hmm. times better. Mm -hmm. You know the contrast because you don't have to like if you either do it or don't do it. Like either yeah. uh, uh, you know either have a, a silhouette here, a shadow, or don't. The the rest of it, like everything else, is a pretty harsh like black shadow. The the human mm -hmm. body would not. The, the little rivets of your of your musculature would not be catching light and everything and it, the whole thing looked weird so that Who bothers used to me. draw spider-man like that they would always take the black parts of his costume and do that it was an artist and it drove me nuts was it eric larson mm, maybe but uh yeah you could actually just black that out 100 percent, and it would still read just fine his whole form his whole body mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah yeah i agree in fact, it'd be good because you'd be like, who is this Herschel Goldstein? And, you know, it'd make me think it, this was like an Ayn Rand book, you know, mm -hmm. or uh, 1984 or something like that. Maybe it's an Orwell book. Yeah, look at that now. Yeah. I don't have my glasses on, so That's look at this great. arm. This is like, holy shit, this arm looks now really that long. Pops. That thing is popping now. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I mean, it is a million times better now. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Uh, all right, what, now look at all this work that went into this here. This is incredible. Uh, what you're looking at is the process by which my body turns into a living machine called brass. Uh, by the way, I don't know if it's like my body is a machine called brass. The, the book can be called brass, but let's make your living body machine have a cooler name than that. Yeah. Like brass and then some numbers or something. I don't Z, know. ZR triangle, triangle square. Yeah. Does brass stand for something? I don't I don't understand. Uh, is that the metal it's made out of? Like why brass? It stands for beating retard's ass. That's what it stands for. Uh, uh when this I happens would like, I would like that uh logo to have been moved into where it's just flowing over the top of the next two panels. Oh like yeah. There. The placement is there is not I don't like it. Well, there's a there's a, a thing like you know you can tell like I I drew this and I'm really precious about every but you don't need to be dude. Mm -hmm. uh, it all looks good. When this happens, it really hurts a lot. You wait. Like, he's this, got a baby in his mouth. Yeah, look at that. An eyeball. Oh, crap. A baby, and then it's developing into. Everybody's that drawing weird. that face. This face it's, here. Always, it's always drawn poorly. Yeah, it's like a McFarlane kind of face, right? Ah. I think we might have seen Rob draw that a couple times. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's even better. <laughs> <laughs> now I like it. You know, if you're going to just do this, it's like this is... Okay, I don't think about my name anymore. Uh, this is me turning into brass. It hurts a lot. It, it hurts when I turn into brass. Imagine, now this is actually a little, this is good right here. This is some pretty good writing because this is a good imagery. Imagine cleaning out your arteries with piano wire. That would hurt, right? Oh, yeah, it would hurt. That would really hurt, I think. I don't know. Do arteries feel? Are there nerves in arteries? Might not That's hurt at all. I was just wondering that. I don't know. Uh, the point I'm trying to make, in case you don't get it yet, is that it's really painful. All right, it, this is written so badly. Mm. Like, why do this? Yeah. So, is this a time when everybody was trying to emulate Frank Miller? I don't know. Yeah. Well, yes. Where, where was Sin City at when this was coming out? Um, it was current. Sin City was coming out. I, I think that Yellow Bastard was probably coming out. You know, but everybody was trying to write like that. But this is like, 
No, it's really bad, but he's trying to hit that pacing of a uh, monologue, which is not. Yeah, good. but it's like, but the information's redundant, and it's just oh, like, yeah, I, yeah. I don't, like what are you just being funny? Like, what's the tone here at this point? The Herschel Goldstein is weird. It's not like a cool name. It's not like John Malin or something. It's fucking mm-hmm. weird. And then yeah, like if you if you didn't get it across that the piano wire through your arteries was painful. And he even says, right? Yeah, what is that? Wire. That would hurt, right? And then he goes again, and he's like, didn't I make it clear that it was painful? Yeah, the, I mean, it doesn't seem like, uh, well, here's, a, here's a Anna. She goes, is he stroking his ego? Yeah. Like, maybe. I don't, I don't know. Who's there, ego? there is There is a thing that's happening here, though. Like, he, Goldstein brass and then wire like he keeps referencing metal all the way through this brass like, wire yeah well it's there's a hit see this is why i talk about like there's a joke they go how do you make a piece of wire uh you drop a penny between two jews okay so the joke is that they, they grab a piece of a brass which is a penny and the two of them are fighting for it so much that like it becomes a wire oh my god there's still standard echo. Like, I don't... Yes, there is an echo. It's on that is an side. anti-Semitic joke, and it's hidden here in this page. Like, if you know where to look for it. Uh, all right, so again, look at this, John. Yeah, I like that. I mean... You know what I would have written here? Look, he's got that godlike crotch thrust going on right there. Yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. John, forget about all this. I'll read this to you, and you tell me what would have been better. Okay. Uh, when the process is finished, this is what I look like. I swear to God, this is like a children's book. Mm. I didn't ask for this. Wait, I look like. Wait, so- hold up. Oh, um, he looks cool though. I mean, this is what I look like, looking cool. I didn't ask yeah. for this. You didn't want to look cool. Yeah, I want it. I'll ask for it. Japanese sitcom? What the fuck are they watching? I in Japan? look like something out of a Japanese sitcom. That caption oh, box is also on a tangent, the third one. Right here, because of this right here? Yeah. You no, know, it's touching the edges. Well, that and it's almost touching that light pole. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Fascination Street, what's that a reference to? Um, I don't know. The Cure. So oh, uh, that's a Cure song. So this guy's a Cure fan. He's, he's a uh, cutter. I, like the stop sign with the bullet holes through it is like a poignant. That's right. Yeah, it's like I told you to stop, uh, and it's like on the ground with bullet holes in it. Two months ago, I was a loser. Now I'm fucking cool, and this sucks. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. All these books are like that. At the time, I thought this was the worst job in the world. Now I really wish I was cleaning toilets again. All right, so yeah. what would you write here instead? Uh, just about how fucking cool I am. Like, dude, fucking before I was weak and now look at me. Powerful, majestic, mm-hmm. a stallion. A I'd have him saying uh, what I do. <laughs> like with the city all crumbled behind him. He would just be saying mm. what I do. You know, smoking and everything. Like, dude, you did this. So, all right, so now we cut to this beautiful shot of a church uh, in New York City. I work days at a trendy New York nightclub cleaning all sorts of substances that may or may, may, or may not at one time have been excreted from human bodies. Yeah, he works at a sex dungeon. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I worked at this, okay, so this guy, his job is to clean up spooge and shit from the bathroom. A dungeoneer, John. Yeah. <laughs> this is a dungeoneer. Yo. That's where they <laughs> like to be, in toilets and filth and other people's bodily fluids. I don't know what this guy's complaining about. He cuts yeah. himself. He, he listens to goth music. He listens to The Cure. And, uh, yeah, and he's just really unhappy. Like, you know, <clears throat> it's weird that, like, you know what's really weird? He's Jewish and he complains a lot, you know? Hmm. That's weird. Like Boy, I, I don't babe. know Jewish people. Yeah. Like, oh, this. Ha- Let's read this again. 
when the process is finished, this is what I look like. I didn't ask for this. I look like something out of a Japanese sitcom. A 12-foot walking Buick with big-ass guns coming out of the yin-yang. At the time, I thought this was the worst job in the world. Now I really wish I was cleaning turlets again. John, could you, like, this could be a Woody Allen movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Woody Allen is brass. Just fucking bitch, bitch, complain, bitch, moan. Mm. Which is something I don't know the Jewish people to do. You know, mm. I've uh, I've been married to a Jewish girl, you know, so I used to go to all the family functions, been around the uh, my wonderful Jewish people my whole life. And I, for one, have never heard any of them complain about anything, ever. Uh, mm. So this is startling yes. to me. Uh, all right. Uh, anyway, I'm not saying I missed that job as much as just having someplace to go where I was expected every day. Here he is with a mop. He's really getting into the toilet here. Wait, he'd rather be there than running around in a fucking badass suit of armor. Like, that's what I don't get. Yeah, how bad is it? It sucks to be special. I and then he's like, ah! Shit. John, ah! He drops the mop. Oh, the ah! piano wire is going through his uh, sides, through his arteries. By the way, this is circled here, just so you know where the point of pain is. It's right here mm -hmm. in his side. Um, you know, and he goes, wah, wah. Uh, all right, steadies himself on the wall. Now, now that I'm thinking about it, there is one thing I really don't miss. Cleaning the cigarette butts out of the urinals. Somebody wrote this, dude. Somebody worked so hard to draw this, and then somebody else just shit awful dialogue all over it. Yeah. Like this. Who's I the mean, writer? You, Who's the writer? Uh, Who's the writer? Thank you, Shane. Well, no, I'm. I'm like, I, I just don't see somebody drawing all this to write that on top of it. This has that's to what be I'm saying, else. dude. It must, that, that's it a good be. point, Shane. That's a great point. That's like what the point of, of what I'm saying is. It's a no, point I, you fail. It's a point you failed to make, Ethan. But Shane clarified it. Oh yes. my God, I'm about to jet. <laughs> Shane, can you just stick around? I don't no. see credits yet, but I'm sure we'll get to some credits. I don't know where they would be. You would think the credits would be like right here. Uh, I was looking but, at a, a book today, and I was looking to find out who the letterer was, and I looked in the credits, and there was no letterer credit. I was like, what the fuck? No letterer credit. Yeah. Letterers are just unappreciated. You know, Can you imagine Eric omitting should... yourself from the book. Oh yeah, think about that. The letterer is the one. Who... Great point, John. Yeah. Was the book that bad? No, it was. It was whatever. It's one of these trades I have because I I got a stack of them. I'm gonna flip through and try to find it again. By the way, nice drawing of Dale Keown, right here. It's Dale Keown's face. Oh yeah, a little Kinda bit. Looks like him. Uh, now it really looks like Dale Keown. So we're smoking up. Suddenly, okay, before, all right, we were having a conniption fit. We were kvetching like a schlemiel uh, in the uh, men's room. And now we're cool as ice. Uh, excuse me. Look at this detail here. Look at this. They drew the stained glass. Look at this guy right here in the stained glass. <laughs> this is like, this is like God, like, can I Miserable. take it back? Yeah. yeah, like, God's like, What did uh, I do? <laughs> How is that a stained glass? If that were a stained glass in my church, I would never stop laughing. Every time I saw it, <laughs> I'd be like, ah, they got the, uh, the Pieta over here. Yeah, everybody's just miserable in this book, even God. Yeah. Nobody's having a good time. Yeah, that's a fantastic uh, stairway. Oh, yeah, all that lighting rig up there. Yeah, beautiful job. So, so this is this, somebody spent all this time to draw this in order to get this shit on it. Excuse me, did I give you permission to take a break? Uh, that's My job it. sucks. <laughs> what is the Wait, staircase? This up? Hang on, hang on. He's cleaning up bathrooms in a nightclub, but he's always in a church. Like, is it a nightclub or is it a church, or is it a church converted to a nightclub? It's. I think it's a church converted to a nightclub. I think that's what he's saying. But this this staircase here, like this would make the thing 
Shane, the, the building, the church would have to be like, what, at least four stories, right? I mean, it doesn't really look like that from out here, does it? Maybe it does. One, two, and then I guess this is like attic space. I don't know mm -hmm. how you get this kind of, uh, what do I know? It's, maybe it's like a TARDIS. It's uh, bigger on the inside. Could be. Mm -hmm. Listen, I've never been to a goth dungeon. I don't know what they look like on the outside or the inside. How would I know? If we had a, if we had a dungeoneer here, maybe they could explain <laughs> one. Is this an app? Like, is this an accurate representation, dungeoneers? Okay, we have more uh, dialogue. Cut it out. I'm really not in the mood. I, I'm your, I'm your boss. This is Juliet, my boss. Get back to work. I'm not in the mood. Cut it out. What the hell? Hmm. You know what? If I saw, if I went into the warehouse and I saw like Zach or Brighton like leaning instead of cleaning, and I said, "Hey, uh, dude, paying you by the hour here. Get back to work." And if he said to me, "Cut it out, Ethan. I'm really not in the mood." You know what I would do? Fire. I pick up. I pick up the broom handle, and I'd hand it to him, but like this, right in the solar plexus. You know. Yeah, got him. Sweep up. He won't do that again. Uh, I met Juliet when I was sleeping in the stairwell of her building. She let me stay in her place for a while, and since then, I've been kind of her pet charity project. What a loser. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he still wants to be a loser rather than that A cool machine. robot. Yeah. Yeah. You look tired, Hirsch. Must I remind you again to go to the doctor? I mean, what's it going to take? You've been complaining about stomach pain, like, forever. This is Del Kion? Hmm. What do you think of that? It's kind of a Del Kion kind of guy here. Yeah, he looks like Dale. A little bit. A little bit. Not a lot. A little bit. Yeah. I can see it. What is this right here? Please, Hirsch. Just go. I'll call you later. Look at this exquisite. Like, he went in there and he drew... Not only did he draw all of the, like, the uh, beer signs, he drew their logos. He drew all the bottles. These are individual bottles of uh, liquor back here with their labels and everything. Wow. Thanks, Julie. Talk to you later, I guess. John, this is why you got to be careful, all right? Mm -hmm. About who you hire. This is the best scene here. He goes to the doctor. The truth is, I'd already been to the doctor a couple of weeks before. He took blood and did tests. I just wanted to make, I just wasn't sure I wanted the results. Here's his doctor. Tumor, cancerous, weeks to live at best. That's oh, putting it. like Shadowhawk. Or no, no, who had, uh, who had the can? Oh no, uh, Shadowhawk had the AIDS, had AIDS. right? Yeah, you had AIDS. Yeah. They they had, had, uh, uh, Chapel. AIDS. Chapel had AIDS. Everybody had AIDS at uh, Image Comics. So Jay Bama fan tried to hold different. Shane down and give him AIDS the same way. You know, yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah. I uh, I kind of feel like I read this, but I don't remember anything. I remember that line, "Got cancer, this, that, you're not long to live." I remember that one page, but I don't remember this book. It's weird. Yeah, but I mean, that one line is probably in a lot of books. You know? No, I I remember this. I I remember this one page, but like, what what was coming out around it? Like, just tell me, like. Uh, at the same time, like this was like 1996, I think this book came out. Late? Yeah, mm -hmm. the doctor says, "Surprised you're still standing." Uh, that's impossible. I feel fine. It was probably a mix-up at the lab. He says, "You have cancer. You are going to die." Damn, you doctor, are going to die. Look at this guy, and he's like, ah! and he starts. That looks like, like, like look. <laughs> that looks like. Dale. <laughs> what is this? What's going on, Mandy? <laughs> I'm all stuffed up. No, hold on a second. Love you, Dale. Yeah, we love you, Dale. He goes, uh, "Look, I'm feeling fine. I don't understand." And he goes, "No, you're going to die." And he goes, ah! "Look at the snot coming out of his nose. Look at his <laughs> wow." He goes, ah! <laughs> "Look at that. That is incredible, right here." It, I, like, and then he drops <laughs> something and shatters. 
these are natural emotions to an old man screaming, you have cancer, you are going to die while pointing at you. Uh, excellent outpatient care now about your payment, but he's already leaving with his trench coat. He's not paying this dude. Mm -hmm. Doctors are thieves. Man. Why would you pay him? You're dying of cancer and you got two weeks to live. I'm not giving you a dime. Yeah, hmm. seriously. You know what? I'll bet if he doesn't pay him, he'll give him another six months to live. What a man. <laughs> So how that works? <laughs> yeah, doctor gave me doctor said I had cancer. He gave me two weeks to live. Couldn't pay up. Gave me another two weeks. It's uh, <laughs> an old joke. Uh, I'm really good with kids, by the way. So now you're in a bus. Look at this traffic, man. I would never draw this. Mm. Can you imagine? Like there would have to be a, a good reason for me to draw this traffic jam. I'm really good with kids. This is a groomer, by the way. This is a pervert yeah. and a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> he is. Uh, I'm really good with kids because I was in the Big Brother program for a while, and I would play with the kids all the time, and we played hide and seek. Oh, and my God. Star Wars versus G.I. Joe and hide the sausage. Christ. The kids. You nailed it. Really? He was a pedo. No, he is. Really, I love the kids, and the kids really like me a lot. Oh, there's Dale. I can see him. He's sitting right there in the shadow. Like, uh, yep, right about there. Nope. Oh, yeah. That's to the right, cool. to the right, to the right. Oh. Up. Oh. Left. You keep missing him. Right there. There's Dale. Oh, this is Dale. Okay. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. I yeah, he's that. like, I got to be around this pedo scum. Yeah. And then we got a cut. By the way, it's like, okay, so this is going on. And then we cut to an extreme close up of eyes. Whose eyes are these? Like, you would think you, they would be his eyes, probably. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, I, it's just no, a matter of. He's got glasses. That's not him. I know, but what I'm saying is, like, why would, you, why would you think this was this guy? Yep. I would have, yeah, I would have just zoomed in on that shot, blew it up. Yeah. Same angle. Maybe it doesn't look it's detail. Just bad storytelling. Uh, maybe I could play with her a few times a week because I don't know if I mentioned it, but I'm good with kids. Or we could get married. Or we could both play with her. Mommy, I'm scared. What a good mother, by the way. Yeah. Wait, you're not joking. This is really in the book. What yeah, this reading. is actually yes. what he's saying. Are you Holy watching this, fuck. Shane? No, I'm watching. I, I'm just the monitor's far away. I can't read what you, you're holding up. Like, yeah. I can see the art, but not the balloons. That's, I, I bet she likes that. the Power Rangers. Yeah, I'll bet she likes the Power Rangers. He says as he Holy opens fuck. his jacket and his big mm -hmm. belly and balls, and he's, like, got fangs like some kind of fucking monster. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's the only boy, he says. Yeah, Yell Flash loved uh, Power Rangers. He would have been the right age group for this guy at the time. Is this the origin of Yellow Flash? Is this kid Yellow Flash? Yeah. <laughs> I think it is. This is what happened to him. Well, I like boys, too. And we Power get it. Ranger. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. By the way, nobody's get to doing the anything. hero beating him up already, and let's just move on. Oh, you think that's what's going to happen, John? Yeah, it's going gonna, gonna to happen. That's what you would think would happen, right? No. Oh. Yeah, I guess. Jesus, what have we got here? Says the bus driver. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to exit the bus, son. Actually, to tell you the truth, I'm only 11 years old. I'm just using this body because the Bureau of Indian Affairs is trying to kill me. It's a long story, but they know that my presence in the city is key to the return of Jack Benny and the reclamation of the Communist Party. And he reaches, you can see he's got a gun, Shane. It's Do funny that he identifies as an 11 year old. Yeah. And that, that he wants topical. the communists to come back. Topical. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Why? Why is it topical? Because uh, he's one. Yeah. Current. This one comic page is super disturbing. <laughs> I don't know why. The girl's head is positioned right where his junk would be. The shit mm -hmm. he's saying at the end, it's like, holy shit. That's a lot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the mom's so head. The mom's head is positioned. The mom's right. head. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah, yeah his, it, his, this is the child. Her, her mom, mom is t is, you know, taking the bullet for the daughters. Oh, the SOD. <laughs> she, she jumped in front of that D. 
<laughs> Take a one yeah. for the team. All right. So he reaches and he pulls out what you can see is a gun. Now, where do you see this gun, John? Okay. Because this is like, you think it's going to be like a handgun, right? Because he's pulling it out of gun. his... Yeah, he's pulling it... Well, where's he pulling it out of? I can't even tell. Like, out of his asshole. And it's like... <laughs> Holy shit, Holy it's a crap. fucking M4. Uh, and now look at his face, by the way. He's kind of handsome. Like, that's a heroic face, right? It's not yeah, right. Yeah, because... Yeah, because on, on the left there, he looks like a shalub. Yeah, look at him here, and then look at him here. Yeah. But at Holy the least, shit. like, his teeth have been fixed. If mm -hmm. he pulled the trigger on that gun, that that gun would just fly in his face. Like, he would... I know. <laughs> Fucking kill him. He goes, isn't that right, Agent Mulder? He's gonna shoot him! Get the gun! Get the gun! Get the gun! P no, please, don't shoot me! Did you think I would be deceived by your transparent little roof? He says, by the way, his penis is hanging out like it's right down here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is roughly where it is. Here's his scrotum. Uh, so this is this is what's actually going on. <laughs> uh, and then he look. Boom, boom, boom. He blows the... By the way, this doesn't look like this guy either. I gotta say, this guy's fat. This guy's not fat. Boom, mm -hmm. boom, boom, boom. And this is Del Keown, just sitting there. Blood spatters in his face as he watches a shell go by. What a crybaby. Life's a bitch all over. You don't hear me whining about it, he says. This is our hero, John. Wait, wasn't he just whining the entire beginning of the book? Hmm. I think so. Yeah. Like, no, ah. the, this is a flashback, right? So, like, he's whining at the beginning of the book, but at this point, he hasn't became a whining bitch because he's not brash yet. Oh, okay. He's okay with cancer and two weeks to live, but, you know, being is a... Is this a flashback? Does I saying? think it is, actually, yeah. Based on what? Well, uh, when she said, I told you to go to a doctor, and he's like, well, she doesn't know I already have. And this is a flashback of, I think, I, I you'd have to turn the page. This is poorly put together. I, I don't know. Take this to your superiors at the bureau. <laughs> Look at the beautifully drawn gun for nothing. Mm -hmm. For nothing, a complete waste. And then he blows this dude <laughs> out the front. And this guy goes, yo, check it out, man. They're making a movie. And this guy <laughs> cut into pieces. And then the guy with the with the penis and the gun runs away. I gotta warn the Power Ranger. Uh, damn, that was smooth. Oh, this is a black guy. Damn! John, can you read this dialogue for me, please? <laughs> damn, that was smooth. I bet they're making a Jackie Chan movie. Awesome. Well done. He was popular back then. Yeah. Uh, all right, so uh, then he just goes home, I guess. I don't know, and he sees his cat. Uh, these guys, weirdos always have cats, you know, mm -hmm. always. And then, uh, I don't know, then the cops come and he opens his door and they want to talk to him. And he's just like, uh, fuck that shit. And he runs from the cops. Why? And he's got a trench coat, which makes you think that he's the guy who took his dick out. Is this like a fight club situation where he is the guy who took his dick out? Like. Oh, yeah. He He's Tyler Durden. Mm -hmm. This is driving me crazy. What is it, Shane? This, this book. book. I, I'm totally entrenched now. Look, that's like the Matrix right there. Monkeys are in there, though. The batteries. Yeah. Andrew Tate is right here, right now, in this. Oh, yeah, because he's in the Matrix. Right? He's in the Matrix. Uh, and then you see people. Then we cut to scientists... This is really cool. They take a house fly and turn him cybernetic. And then this is fucking sweet. But I don't know what it has to do with anything. And then the lab explodes. Boom, 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 boom. Now, John, watch this. That scientist is trying to run away. Uh, and then pff, he's instantly skeletonized. And he says, damn. Uh -huh. The skeleton says, damn. He's a, and then boom, boom, boom. Wait, skeletons can't talk. Yeah, I know. How's it going to say damn? Uh... You, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's badass that it does say damn. It is cool, but it just like, mm -hmm. like, 
you're just like, damn, that sucks, man. I'm a skeleton now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like you have like that's humiliating to know. Like, damn, I'm like I was this guy a second ago. Now I'm just a skeleton. That's humiliating. It's embarrassing. Uh, and then I don't know. More shit happens. Th what is this? Uh, he's running away. He's running away from the cops for having witnessed a pervert show his dick to a mom and then mm -hmm. kill the bus driver. Uh, and then this is how the book ends. Uh, it turns out there are a lot of naked perverts and all of them are going to be showing their dicks. <laughs> is that what this is? Mm. Like we're all gonna, of these people. We're going to release them all onto the streets of New York. I want to do that. I'm going to do a thing where like Scorpion's whole like plan is that he's got a whole army of cloned humans that are going to like perverts to show their dicks to people on buses. He's like, I'm cloning pedophiles. Like, I got an army of pedophiles, Cyberfrog. That's what that's what the ultimate plan is here. If I can just get an army of pedophiles to uh, walk around in trench coats and show their dicks to people. Mm -hmm. uh, very good. And then this happens. And then I don't know. Shane? Did you ever read the next issue? Was I mean, how many issues of this came out? I never seen this book. Uh, I think like four issues came out because here's part of like, look how great this looks in black and white with no shitty, awful dialogue on it. You know, yeah. oh, fucking wild, man. What did this because artist go on to work on like later in life? Like, uh, oh, here it is. Here are the credits. I don't know. Uh, dialogue. <laughs> Aaron Weisenfeld. Who He's is Aaron artist. Weisenfeld? Aaron Weisenfeld's an artist. Then why was he art was Richard Bennett. Yeah. Colors Monica Bennett, so they're they're Not related. <laughs> yeah, letters here, uh, but no, this is uh, this is the guy here. Oh, the story was Richard Bar uh, Bennett and Aaron Weisenfeld. Uh, hey, write this down. Uh, whiny Jewish guy who sc uh, scrubs shit out of toilets in a nightclub somehow becomes brass, uh, and it hurts. But uh, mostly, what happens is he witnesses a pedophile. Uh, take his dick out on a bus and then shoot everybody and then run away while he just watches and then the cops come to his apartment think it's him that showed his dick and then he runs away cool yeah let's spend uh, a couple months drawing that it's a good story look at that dude Shit. yeah it looks great more of that would have been good could have been anything how did a pedophile fit into this you know what I mean? Like oh, that's. It, oh, I was thinking maybe the pedophile is the uh, brass guy. We had oh. it wrong. What if this is like Sucker Punch, you know, uh, by James Gunn? Is it James Gunn who? No, it was uh, Zack uh, Snyder. Zack yeah. Snyder, yeah. And like the pedophile, like this hero was the pedophile all along. Yep. And he's like, "What are you going to do about it? That's you protect a your twist. kids from me? That's a twist. Get everybody hooked on brass. Yeah, kids." We love Brass, man. Brass is fucking awesome. The best comic I ever made. And then you find out he was always a pedo. <laughs> yeah. A pedophile all along, folks. Wow. Shane, what did you learn about that? I'm reading up on it. Um, evidently, there, the item, there, it's a brass virus. Like, so I don't know if it's a virus that's in the other issues, if it's turning those people into... I, I don't know. Like this whole thing is a fucked up comic. Like I'm, I'm, I've never read this book. I, I have no idea. The artwork looks great. I'm actually trying to look up what this dude's worked on since. The black and white looked really nice, but the interiors were actually kind of just boring colors. Yeah, the colors were garbage. Like everything. Mm -hmm. Like that guy worked really hard making that comic look the way that it looked. And I didn't agree with all of the visual choices, but. A lot of them I did. A lot of them I was like, wow, this is really impressive. This guy likes to draw machinery. Mm -hmm. um, he kind of likes to draw robots. He, he loves to draw pedophiles. And the pedophiles yeah. are big, meaty uh, beef eaters uh, who uh, wear trench coats. 